Hi everyone, Sim Motions here and welcome back to Farming Sim 2013. Now we're not, we're starting a new profile today because, um, I don't really like the American map anymore, so I thought, yep, let's go on to the, um, default map, which is Hagenstad. I'm assuming in Germany from the name because yeah let's get him going so this map like it's a lot different to Westbridge Hills like this map's more fun like Westbridge Hills is like really flat like pretty much boring It like it pretty much is so yeah so I'll just turn that right sorry about that we had a bit of a frap smile function so what we're gonna try and do here is I'm thinking I might put yeah, I'll put this on the trailer. We'll head over to the harvester now. Now, the one thing I hate about this map, they've had the game for pretty much since it came out as well, is these trees. Like, very annoying. Because when you start getting the big harvesters and when you want to join fields, it doesn't work. So I'll have to go through um, the map editor. Let's spawn these back. I'll probably sell them. So I'm hoping to try and make a big empire. Like, big. Where are they there? Thinking we might just sell them straight off. So we got one left. Gives us 40,000. Like, what do we own and I don't need? Like, that's pretty much the main thing. I don't need a play out. That's... That gets us. Right, let's head over to here and... Get... This. I wonder why this lags so much. Like, I'll have to have a look at the settings and crap. Turn all that off. I'll keep the info mod there on the left. Well, let's get this and I'll start cultivating right away so I can keep everything going quick. Oh, of course, I parked in the way, didn't I? Alright, I'll start like that. That'll work, yeah. Hopefully the Euro Truck skills come in handy here. Right, so what we'll do is we'll go fill this up and I'll show you around the map oh man, whoops let's head over here, so this is where we can fill up our seeds and everything which we'll do right now I don't want to fully fill it. This is where our potato and sugar beets are. So potato, this side, sugar beets there. This is our chicken area, which is pretty cool. You just got to run around and collect them. We've only got one chicken, or rooster, I think. 
checking my stuff. Uh, our fuel tank. We've got all the storage area, which is really good. And this is where we sell all the uh, hay bales. It's pretty neat. Let's turn time down. And so, what have we got in this field? Wheat, so. Pound and leader, what the hell? So barley we need to start saving. So O to barley and buttons there's not much we can do now, so, I might just cut a bit of this out. Alright, so, we're a bit further along, like, this first episode's always going to be the boring one, like, the first couple, until we start getting these big machinery and the big fields and all the stuff like that. But yeah, so, it's going along pretty well, like, I'm thinking, yeah, I think we might just... Like for God's sake, this doesn't run any better with my new graphics card, which is kind of annoying. Which I was kind of hoping it would have, like I'm still getting 20 frames. So I might just check what the hell's going on. Let's get this in. And I'll put the big tractor onto this and it will go faster. Hopefully that cultivator can keep up and the harvester like That's why I just parked this here so the cop cultivator can't go past it. Yeah. We'll actually take this over and empty it now. Right, so there's our big silos over there.
put this in the silo. Oh damn it, that mod's kicked in. I need to remove that mod. It's like the fast walking mod so I can go. Let's run jump onto the roof. Haha! Whoops. Oh, now I see what they've done, so, they've, like, it used to be, where is it, like, here it used to be per ton they would measure it on, and it's like, it's a bit annoying when everything's, like, per litre and shite, so they've, they've kind of done it more realistic, so, like, every litre of sugar beets is a lot more than what is for canola and corn and everything like that, so, Come on. What does it cost me to have harvest people? Like harvest the harvesters and no the hide workers. Hide workers, it's cost me six hundred dollars. Take this over and empty it out again. Then we can set that to um, to uh, grow again. Like turn the time up, and then hopefully next episode, it will take us a few episodes to get stuff going. Like, we have got 50,000, like, let's have a look, like, I just recently on Eurotruck delivered one of them, with this attachment on it, like, yeah, it was fun, especially, like, because a lot of the people, like, a lot of the mods now are putting all the farming sim vehicles in as loads, for oversizes, it's pretty cool. So I think that's the trail I'm going for next, which I can buy now. The sewing machine is probably my biggest want, like something like that. Or I can just buy another couple of these and hook them up. But at the moment I don't really need it, like not until I start having to do runs to the mill, like to the sell point in a couple of days time when we have the great demands. See it dumps off both sides which is cool. And pretty much to load it's like the old 
up like the other map, like Westbridge. Pretty much just drive under that. Pretty much I'm going to park this here. Right. So he's nearly done. So pretty much I'll call that the end of this first episode because there's not much else there is to see for another couple of apps. So I will play a bit of this off like without recording because otherwise this is going to be a repetitive boring first three or four episodes until we manage to get bigger stuff. So until next time guys remember to leave a like hit the subscribe button for more farming sim videos, Euro truck and soon spin tires. Why'd they go over here? And I'm thinking maybe I might start the car mechanic series again. Because it's a interesting game, just I wasn't really that into it at the time. And maybe a Formula 1 series. So yeah, I've also got Scania I need to play, so I might record one of them in a couple of days. Alright guys, see you.